So there is another pretty big story here, and that is that a Texas Republican leader has now died of coronavirus um, after anti-vaccination posts just a few days ago, actually. So it looks like he was hospitalized and then died of coronavirus pretty shortly after some of these um, posts, which is uh, pretty quick. So here's what it says. It says, Texas Republican leader dies of COVID-19 five days after anti-vaccination posts. A Texas Republican leader who was hospitalized with COVID-19 died Wednesday just days after he shared a post on social media questioning the effectiveness of the coronavirus vaccine. The Galveston County Republican Party said in a Facebook post Wednesday morning that Scott Apley, a member of the state Republican Executive Committee and Dickinson City Council, had died. <clears throat> it says, while the party did not specify the cause of death, of course, uh, a GoFundMe page that has been set up for Apley and his family said he was admitted to hospital Sunday with pneumonia-like symptoms and tested positive for COVID. It says, as of Thursday morning, GoFundMe has raised more than $30,000. Since the county Republican Party said in its Facebook post that Apley's death was, quote, a tragedy and called on supporters to, quote, please pray for Melissa Reed and Reed and their family. So prayer obviously isn't actually going to do anything. God remains in control, although this is yet another tough one to swallow, the organization added. By the way, this whole thing of, like, praying for God to bring an outcome doesn't make sense uh, because I would say... Most religious people would say that you have free will, so what is prayer going to do to change the outcome? Because if you have free will, then God's not going to put his hands into what's going on. So that doesn't really make any sense. Um, completely contradictory. Um, but here's what it says. Apley, who was elected to the Dickinson City Council in November after a failed 2019 bid, had shared a post on Facebook just two days before he was hospitalized that appeared to question the credibility and effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine. Quote, in six months, we've gone from the vax ending the pandemic to you can still get COVID even if vaxxed to you can pass COVID on to others even if vaxxed, the post read in part. Um... Apley had also previously vocalized his opposition to vaccinations and mask mandates, and in May shared a flyer for a mask burning event. Wow. Um, in April, the Republican leader commented on a Twitter post from public health expert Liana Wen, who shared findings from a trial indicating that the COVID-19 vaccine developed by Pfizer and BioNTech remains effective against the virus for at least six months after the second dose. Apley replied to the tweet by writing, You are an absolute enemy of the of a free people, and shove the carrot where the sun don't shine. So I'm guessing that's a, supposed to be a colorful way of saying shove the vaccine up your ass, I think. Uh, this is, you know, his tweet here. This is from April 2nd. So he was... He was sending like anti-vaccine um, tweets just like uh, not long ago, like a few days ago, essentially. And he ended up being hospitalized with coronavirus testing positive, And then he ended up dying. He is dead. Um, and so, you know, I don't feel bad for somebody who is doing this because they're actually contributing to the deaths of hundreds of thousands. Because your words have power in a situation like this. And even if you were to convince one or two people or a family not to get vaccinated, that continues to really, I mean, really what coronavirus is doing is it's undermining society as a whole um, because um, populations, entire populations are at risk. Even people who are now vaccinated are put at risk by unvaccinated people. Um, and the reason for that is because the longer that the virus continues to spread and it keeps finding hosts, it'll continue to mutate. And so it can create a new strain the way the Delta is right now, where it's breaking through some very few of the vaccinated people as well. But imagine as it continues to mutate and you get one that's really, really breakthrough and you have to create a whole new vaccine. So... They're damaging everything. The economy is dying because of them. If everybody were to get vaccinated, we could go back to normal life because we could basically beat COVID. Um, you know, you are killing people by being anti-vaccine. People are dying of coronavirus. So, you know, I really don't feel bad because uh, you're contributing to literally the demise of society. And honestly, may, you know, it's probably like the biggest crime, essentially, because you are... Uh, destroying like the fabric of just basic um, thinking faculties and understanding of things and 
really destroying just that kind of base of just anything, right? Just basic logical faculty saying the vaccines don't work, questioning doctors, etc., etc. Um, the damage that that does to society as a whole is really incalculable. So, um, you know, I don't feel bad because you're doing so much harm to everybody in this country, everybody around. Um, and I did see that vaccination rates are going up now because Republicans, I guess, are finally starting to come out and encourage people to get vaccinated. But um, COVID vaccine is not a cure. So you need, you know, you need four weeks for both doses to kick in fully to build immunization. Um, you... <clears throat> you um, also need to know it's not invincibility juice. It's not going to give you 100% protection, but it will give you like 80 to 90% protection. Um, different poll numbers or uh, different studies have different numbers in terms of infection protection, but I think I've seen studies that say the infection protection is all the way up in the 80s. So um, it's very, very powerful right now. So everybody needs to get it so that we can stop the spread of coronavirus. So. Uh, be aware that this can definitely happen to you. Coronavirus is not a joke. What's also more concerning now is that younger people seem to be getting hospitalized in the ICU at higher rates. So it's very, very concerning.